These are the shells that I've collected and all I've done is wash them and also soak them in bleach and water for a couple of days. So step one is to choose the piece I'm going to work on. I'm planning on working on this one because it's got a nice thick shell. So this is an abalone shell or a fragment of an abalone shell. And this side is quite thick and that side as well. So I could get two pendants out of that or a really nice big one. Or also this one is another option which has got nice thick shell still. Also I could get two pendants out of that the knacker on this side is really beautiful so as long as it doesn't get too thin it's fine so but first of all so I'm gonna choose this one instead of that one what I'm gonna be using is this rotary tool which came with all this different attachment for grinding cutting and polishing so this is a little metal blade that I bought separately from this tool when I got it so I didn't have this one what it had was this disc like this ones and you can also use these ones for cutting uh, the shells and as you can see it's all got different grinders as well so I bought this one actually separate from the rotary tool itself I'm also going to be using files and sandpaper so now to start off we're going to do some grinding You can do this on the dry, but I prefer to work with water. So anyway, to start off, is so I've got a plastic container that's got water in it and I'm just going to grind this. So I'll start with this one first to see how thick or how thin I can go. So first we'll start with this part first. So now I've exposed the knacker on this side. So now I'm just going to continue going around and get rid of the orange calcification on top. Now this part here is getting quite thin so looks like I'm gonna have to go cut around uh, this area here. So I'll just go to the edge of that and finish off this part here. So now I finished grinding to a point where I'm happy with that and then now I'm just gonna cut it. I'm just going to change the attachment to a cutter or a blade so now I'm going to cut around. I got that piece there and so this side now so I'm gonna cut around here and then chop that off so now I've got two pieces I can use but this one I'm gonna grind it off still and see how far in I can go and also for this one I'm just gonna uh, shape it or grind around it and just to get a nice shape to the surface there's some if I turn it see those white calcification those have to come off so I'm just gonna grind them off so even that part there so now I'm just gonna clean this all up and grind away so now I'm gonna use 
hand file to file around it. And now I'll just use a wire brush to scrub off the surface. And I'll also brush the opposite side. And also, when using a wire brush, some wires, like this one here, will get an effect like this one, but don't be alarmed. So it might look like it's all gone black, as you can see even my fingers, but this comes off when you wash it with detergent and a brush. So now I finish brushing it off and it's polished it nicely and some of the color or the brass wire has actually transferred onto the shell which makes it really really sparkly or pearlescent so now on the opposite side it's a little bit darker so and if you have sharp edges just make sure that you file it back there was a lot of discoloration or those brown spots so as I turn it you see those brown spots there all I did was just use a wet and dry sandpaper and all I've been doing is sanding it off just going around the edges to make sure I don't have any sharp edges and the back I just left it as it I've grinded I put it in my grinder just to expose a little bit of the knacker but it's just to smoothen off any bumps or sharp edges I'm quite happy with the way that looks now so now I'm just gonna rinse it off and dry it some pieces like this one I have to use a wire brush a sandpaper and also a grinder they are now completely dry and as you can see They've taken on a good polish. That one with the 1200 grit sandpaper and this one with the wire brush. The difference between the two is a slight gold tone on this one compared to that one. So it's up to you as to what method you use but for surface like this one the wire brush is ideal and for a smooth surface like this one the sandpaper is ideal. Also, another option, if you wanted to take on a really high gloss finish, then you can also put some clear varnish on it. On the next shell video, I'm going to be showing you how to drill a hole on this piece and also transform the two shell pendant into beautiful jewelries.